Hello and welcome to another Excel demo from Rich Kerr. In this scenario, we'd like to use Excel to figure out when the invoices in this list are due. So I've set up some very basic data with some invoice numbers, uh, some invoice dates and terms. So for example, if an invoice has terms of net 30, uh, we're expecting the due date, you know, we're saying the due date is uh, 30 days after the invoice date. Well, we want Excel to figure that out for us. So if you want to pause the video for a moment and set up some sample data like this, go right ahead and then we'll pick it up and create our formula. Okay, so the challenge that we're faced with is I've got a list of terms and I don't want to uh, manually create a formula for all the different terms. I mean, they're not all 30 days or all 60, which would make it easy. You could just add 30 to the invoice date and fill that formula all the way down. Uh, but because it varies, we need a formula that can, can uh, figure out the, the due date for us. So if I start with equals with, for my formula and go to cell B2, the problem with trying to add the value in C2 is that the value in C2 is not a number. At least it's not only a number, it includes text. So if I take B2 and add C2, I get a pound value error message as Excel cannot perform math on the word net. However, if I take B2 and add just the rightmost two characters from C2, well those rightmost two characters do make up a number, the number 30. So using the right function, uh, I can refer to cell B2 as that contains the text that my function needs and then to separate the multiple inputs I'll type a comma and the number of characters I want from the right side of C2 is 2 so I'm trying to add to B2 the rightmost two characters from C2 well, I hit the enter key uh, the rightmost two characters from C2 make up the number 30 so December 15th of 2012 plus 30 equals January 14th of 2013 and so now that I've got that in place I can fill the formula down for the other other rows I'll simply move move my mouse over the autofill handle and double click and that will force the formula to fill down to the other cells and of course we know that double clicking the autofill handle forces your formula to fill down until a blank cell is encountered in the adjacent column so there you have it, using the right function to extract the number of days from the terms cell and calculate the due date. Thanks for watching. Come back soon for more Excel demos. Have a great day.